Hello everyone, this is Big Black 420i. Welcome to another video. Today we are doing a review on another flat nose rig. This rig is a Kenworth K200. Alright, let's show you what this truck looks like. Alright. This is what this this is how the back end of it looks, of course. The sides and the front end now this stood out to me because for the simple fact that I like the way the headlights look all right the headlights actually drew me to this truck when I was going through the mod selection and you know what I had to get my hands on it to see what it was all about now to my knowledge the horsepower on this truck, maximum size engine is a 200, excuse me, is a, a 625 horsepower engine and a 2,779 foot-pounds of torque. And, uh, you know, that, that seems uh, pretty average, well, well, a average type from what I've seen, you know, like normal, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm curious to know how this thing's going to pull. But before we get into that, I want to know does the things on this truck here work. So, let's start with the headlights and work our way back. Alright, we have our parking lights. Alright. I'm still a little curious to know where the signal lights are, but I guess we'll find that out. Okay, headlights. Alright, I guess the truck has to be running for this part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up. Oh, wait a minute. Before I start it, I just spotted the parking lights in the headlights. That was actually where my question was. Something tells me the signals are going to be in the same spot. Let's start her up and see. Ah, all right. So it sounds like the standard engine mod that comes with American Truck Simulator. No problem. It, you know, at least it's something that, at least it's a sound that I am used to. So I can go for that. Now, let's continue with the headlight test. Alright, those are the headlights. Let's check out the high beams. Alright, high beams work. And the low beams work. I'm liking this. Alright, I'm like, I always like it when the lights work properly. You know, they're, you know, they're showing, they're showing a decent, a, do, a decent set of, uh, you know, uh, lamination for daytime, so. I'm like, now when that is actually showing like a little reflective glow, like little edges on the sides, kind of like that star look. So it's showing that as well. Let's see what our signal lights look like. Hmm. I don't think this truck has front and signal lights. Alright, I've just spotted this truck's signals, I think. Apparently, unless this is on another bumper mod or something, the signal light seems to be the side marker light on the side. So apparently, this truck does not seem to be completed due to the fact that there is no real working signal light in the front end of this truck. Alright, let's check out the back. the back end of the truck. Now, believe it or not, the left blinker is on, but it seems to be a little bit on the dim side. I'm not sure why, but we'll get into that. But uh, those, that's the left blinker, and that's the right blinker. Can't really see too much from it. Alright, now I'm playing with the brakes, and I'm getting the same issue with the brakes. You can't really see them. I mean, you can see them, but not comfortable, not noticeable. Let's check out the reverse. Wow, are you serious? It looks like this truck here has some type of, uh, it's like the truck talks to you as part of the backup. Now, before I put it back in to see exactly what it says, 
notice it's not just the uh, reverse lights on the bumper but you also have apparently reverse lights running all down the stacks in the back end of this truck now let's go back in here what this actually says This warning, this vehicle is, oh, warning, this vehicle is reversing. That's what it says. All right. This, you know what? Just because, just for the simple fact that the designer decided to go as far as actually making a voice for the reverse, which is something that you actually rarely see in real life, but it does exist. Since the designer came up with that, that automatically throws throws certain things. You know, I can now overlook the light issue just for the simple fact that it can now say that, All right? Because I have never seen a mod that will talk as you're reversing. That is pretty darn interesting. That is pretty damn cool. I am loving it. I am so loving it. All right. So far, our mod test is coming out pretty good. Let's check out what the inside interior does to see like how much can we get around on the inside. Okay, we on. Hold on. Let me uh do what I normally do, which is bring my view back a little bit, so that this way I can see everything the way I'm comfortable driving. Okay, that might be a little far back. And let's lower it to uh, too much. All right, I can go for that. All right. Now, let's see how much space we have in here. Now, one thing I must point out, you see where the manual shifter is? This comes as an option when you first get the truck you're not going to see that you're going to see an automatic shifter so uh, you so that that is so you can have the option to change that okay we can go into the back oh I like this and they actually allow you to sit in the middle you know saying you're not like just stuck on like on one side I like that you can go in the back It's small as it is back here. It actually seems, you know, pretty spacious. But I don't... Alright, that actually looked like it would hurt if you, like, rolled on it the wrong way. <laughs> but I like that, though. I mean, look at the wood trim. Now, another thing that I must tell you, based on what I saw on the dashboard as I was, as I was uh, setting up this truck, the dashboard has different um, textures to them. All right, so it's not just the wood trim. Me, I like wood trim, so I picked the wood trim. All right, and I'm glad because I like the way it looks in this truck. But uh, you can get different uh, graphics on there, like cartoon graphics and so on. So uh, be sure to check that out. Yeah, I'm liking this. I could drive the truck from back here. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get on up to the front. Now, also notice, you notice how the passenger seat is red? Well, clearly mine's is where I'm sitting at. Dang, you can really get a good view of where you're sitting. All right. Well, my seat, as you can see, has got the red uh, texture. These textures can also be changed. Now, another thing that I must keep in mind, well, that you guys must keep in mind, that when you drive this truck or try to set it up, when you're inside your mod folder, I haven't tried it with any trailer mods, but if you have any other truck mods in your folder, you must deacti deactivate those mods in order to make this truck here work. There's a few other mods that's on uh, my uh, that's on my review that I've realized has also had the same problem. I think the Cat uh, CT 6600 XL, if I have it right, or the 660 XL. 
that also has a problem with that as well. So keep that in mind when you go to load up some of these mods. Sometimes you got to turn off everything else to, uh, get, them, to get them to work or register. If you have to, or if you have too many mods in your folder, even though they're not activated, if you have too much in your folder, you may want to downsize it. Now, um, also keep in mind with this truck mod, there are certain uh, things on the ground well, of, of, of the floor of the truck and certain things on the dashboard that does show that they're supposed to be there, but they do not show up. I suggest not to use them. If, you, uh, if you're hitting something and you don't see anything show up, I suggest not to use them because it can risk crashing your game. All right, because that was an issue that I had because the truck has no GPS currently working. Because uh, some of the little uh, decorating mods that the truck came with doesn't work. So I just wanted to uh, let the uh, person who, uh, who designed this truck to let them know that some of the um, like the little GPS in the window and uh, other things like that, some of them do not work. All right. But overall, from what I'm seeing so far and stuff, you know, outside of outside little blessed trees and everything, so I can see how everything's not working. Whoa, hold on, wait a minute. Is that where that's located? Look at this. The truck's onboard computer, the something that you would normally see on the dash, is located on the top. Let's be sure of that, because right now it shows neutral. Yep. The computer view is on the top. So please keep that in mind. If you're looking for it, it's on the top. It's not on the dash. Now, let's see what the dash here looks like. All right, and the speedometer is obviously over there, but I'm curious to know what gauge is that in the center. I don't know what it is, but it looks like whatever it is, it seems to be maxed out. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'm not going to look too far into that. So far, I'm liking what I see. Now, let's see how she hauls. Let's see if we can get a nice, uh, nice load. Looks like I found me a load. So, uh, let's see how she drives. Uh, notice the cab moves to the throttle. I like that. That's actually pretty darn realistic. I like that. So far it has a realistic sound to it. If only this GPS can tell me where I'm going before I get out. Alright. Yes, the last time I did not do that, I got basically all the way through my uh, in, my uh, review when someone disturbed it by calling me stinking. So I had to remember to turn that off. Sure my radio is working well, kind of 
proper music in it. Right now, as you can tell, I'm uh, loading through my gears again. on that one. Well, so far I like the sound of it. Let's see what the Jake break sounds like. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm liking that. I'm actually looking forward to the trip. I'm really liking the sound of that Jake break. Not every Jake break has, you know, sound, you know, has to sound the same because there's different trucks and different type of engines and stuff. But that right there, I'm curious to know what that sounds like at a higher RPM. To be honest with you, with a load on it. Wait a minute, that has a familiar tone to it now that I'm thinking about it. It almost sounds like my Peterbilt 389. The Jake brake doesn't sound like it, but the engine mod itself at RPM sounds like it. It looks like we're gonna have to get this thing a nice little engine test done. Turns pretty tight, but then again, it's a short truck. I'm not used to these short trucks. Oh, yeah, I did that wrong. I gotta get more over. All right, we are loaded. So let's go and uh, put this truck through its paces and see how she drives with a load. Sounds like my Peterbilt. The engine actually sounds very familiar to my Peterbilt.
right at all. Not right at all. <laughs> Let's see how she drives from the inside. Sounds like my Peter Bill, and it has the transmission of my Peter Bill. It won't show 18 gears; it just shows eight high. That's the characteristics. I think I think this might be using uh, some of the same uh, some of the same programming as my uh, Peter Bill mods. I like that. But the thing about this truck though is that I can't help but notice how some of the options inside the menu when you're trying to build this truck, I can't help but notice how some of it is just incomplete. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it did, you know, so uh, just so the uh, the maker of this mod, the, uh, yeah, some of the things are not complete. Like for example, some of the other options for the interior view, the steering wheel disappears. It's just not there. There's like two or three views that the steering wheel is visible. Now, I didn't try it to see if like something else would come up after the game has started up because like I said before, when I tried to do it, the game froze. Now, I don't know if that was because my mod folder was just filled with a whole lot of stuff that wasn't activated or not, but when I did, act when I did empty out my mod folder a little bit and just left this in there, here I am, and running smoother. So uh, that's how that's how that day worked. But uh, yeah, just for yeah. So I just asked if uh, certain things can be tweaked with it. As far as that goes, as far as the way the truck drives, I can't complain at all. The truck drives actually quite nice and stuff. I can I can judge my width and everything quite nicely. I can feel what's going on. Mirror. All right. Well, the signal lights work on the dash as well. Clearly, let's see if the uh, we got a little headlight indicator. All right, we got a high beam indicator on the dash. All right. I didn't mean to like really do it like that, but I wanted to know. I mean, it's a simulator. You know, that's what we, that's what we do here. I wanted to know if we had a uh, uh, light on the. Uh, dash for the parking brake. Just making sure. Just try and check out the details. I just noticed something. The radio inside this truck actually has a working um, a working clock on it. <laughs> nice. Well, here's another part of our review. Let's see how fast she goes. I don't think the speedometer is uh, fully uh, correct. So, I, as far as uh, scaled size, because this just says 76 miles an hour, but the speedometer shows we're doing about like what, you know, about 20. <laughs> and this is an American truck, so I know it ain't kilometers. That's a Jake break. Yes, I know, I'm driving on the shoulder. Like I said before, this is a review. I don't want to slow down. I'm just, I'm still trying to see how fast this truck can go. So I'm trying to keep my momentum. Because like I said before, this is a review. Do what you need to do in the review to show the, to show the people what type of truck it is, 
what it has, what it'll do, and what it won't. Now, so far, I got 77 miles an hour. Keep in mind, people, this is also with a load. A load hauling close to 40,000 pounds. All right, we got 81 miles an hour. Excuse me, school bus. Now, the only things that I've noticed that uh, some of the in external options were a little, uh, a little short. The only thing I was really able to add onto the front end of this truck was really a grill, some mud flaps, and half of my strobe can't add a light bar to the top end of this truck. 87 miles an hour. I'm glad I didn't want to change anything at that into my truck. Crazy. I just realized what that knob is. The the um the gauge that's it that's between the uh, speedometer and tachometer. That big one in the middle that looks like a red line uh, speedometer turns out it's the air gauge. Because I just realized that when I hit the brake, it moved. Yep. That's what it is. That's what it's related to. It's connected to the, uh, to the, to the brakes. To the air brakes. of approval this truck may need may need uh, you know some fixes with its uh, with its internal mods as far as like its decoration like its day bag you know the uh, some of the options on the dash you know what I'm saying the GPS because it doesn't come up you know what I'm saying uh, a little bit of work on the lights maybe adding some front signals to this truck but this truck here has more than potential because outside of those things that are out, well, that are not working, yo, <laughs> this truck here drives pretty darn nice. I like it. It sound and not only that, it sounds like my Peterbilt. It drives like the Peter. Well, I'm not gonna say drives like, but it, uh, it sounds like the Peterbilt. It ships like it. And that Jake break, I mean, it's a. Uh, I am liking that Jake break. I tell you one thing, though, I'd much rather use the. Uh... No, that's another thing I just noticed. Every time I hit the gas, when I go through my gears, the truck moves, like up and down, like to me, you can feel the turn. I would so love to have the GPS working in this truck because I don't generally like using the uh, the map uh, piece on here. I generally like to have that off so this way I can see the dash and feel more like I'm at home inside the rig. But I'm pretty sure all those things can uh, can get tweaked. 
But overall, from what I'm seeing here, I'm liking it. I'm really like. this truck shows body roll. I like that. That is a realistic feel. I like that. Alright, I did that on purpose. I just wanted to know what it sounded like and it doesn't sound bad. It actually sounds like it can handle being shifted that way being thrown down to a lower gear and it doesn't sound like it's screaming I've actually heard Jake Brick sound like down the highway Now, I have a full-size trailer, I believe, but I have a very short truck. So I'm going to hope that I can get this uh, truck in here properly. got me close to the wall too.
I got distracted. <laughs> Well, I gotta admit, that was fun. I like this truck, and you know what? Despite the fact of its current issues, I'm still going to keep this truck. All right, this truck right here, I am gonna try and use with some other mods, uh, with some other trailer mods, and see if they work with them. This will be one of the trucks I will be using in the future. So, uh, most definitely stay in tune for that. Now, before I do go, there is something else I do want to show you. All right, I didn't get a chance to really do it since, well, you know, we, you know, it, it was it, the type of trailer and stuff you really couldn't really do it with. Oh yeah, that's what I like. Funny thing about it, first thing I thought about is that if that those lights were red, kind of can make it look like a little Night Rider effect, but for a truck, but. Yeah, all right, that was a little bit corny, hang on to it. But uh, overall, I like this truck. Not alone that, it does also come with certain mods on top of the truck as well, but I forgot to put them on because of the other issue when my uh, first attempt to make the video didn't work due to having too many mods in my folder. So uh, I haven't got to do that. But I do suggest you get this mod. Hopefully other things in the mind will be fixed in the future and other things can be used. But uh, I highly suggest you get it. But until then, until the next time, alright, happy truck.